Hey guys, welcome back to the channel. So Elemental 3.3 for the Pro version just dropped and with it we have access to two new features, two new widgets, which are essentially the hotspot widget and then the video playlist widget. So I'm going to walk you through very quickly what they are and how you can make use of them. So again, this is for the Pro version of Elemental. Now right here on my website, I'm going to scroll all the way down here and show you how the hotspot widget first of all works. So right here we have hotspot. I'm going to click drag, drop that in there. So what this does is that it basically allows you to choose an image. And in this case, right, I'm going to go with the image of myself right here. And then within this image, I can highlight several parts of the image and also add some description. That's the whole point of the hotspot widget. So right now we've chosen the image. We have hotspot. So I'm going to choose my very first hotspot and let's call this one uh, the air, right? So you can add a label for the hotspot, but personally, I prefer not to use labels for my hotspots, but it's all subjective. You can do that if you want to, but I'm going to add a description right here and I'm going to call this one my ears. Okay. Now, right here, you can choose the icon you want to use to represent your hotspot. So you go to icon library and the truth is there are so many of them. I really don't know what might be the best uh, icon to use. I'm just going to go with the eye. Okay. The eye icon insert that right there and now you can see it's right there just above the logo the web monkey logo so how do we now change the position it's simple right here right next to content you see the tab called position you click in there and then you now have the horizontal uh, orientation the offset and then the vertical uh, orientation offset so for horizontal we can take it all the way right here and then vertical we can bring it up here maybe push this a bit more to the left. So there you go. Now you can see the eye is right next to my ear. And again, for the content, it says my ears, right? So right now by default, users will have to click on the icon before the description actually is shown. I want to change that so that the text will show when the user hovers on the icon. But before we do that, by default, the text is actually with the white color. So that's why you can't see it right now. So let me very quickly go over to style and then go over to the tool tip. And then right here for the text color, I'm going to switch this one to black. Okay. So now if I click on the icon, you can see my ears now showing, but how do we now change the trigger, right? What you want to do is you want to go back to content, uh, go to tool tip and then right here where you have trigger change this one to hover. So now when the user hovers on my icon, that's when the description will now show my ears. And of course you can make several other changes like the orientation. So right here, we can change the position to be on the right. So you can see right now you hover on my ears. You now have, uh, you hover on the icon. Now my ears text is apparent to the right of the icon. You can do that for the left and so on. And for animation, I would highly recommend that you also uh, trigger an animation for the hotspot. Right now, it's pretty dull. Nothing is happening. But if you go to animation and you choose soft beats, you can see right now that the eye is like beating gently. I think it adds a bit more of uh, a, a bit more flair to your hotspot. That's just my own personal uh, opinion. So going back to style again, you can change the size of your hotspot. So right here you have size. You can make it as big as you want. Uh, the same thing goes with the tooltip. You can change the text add your width, add the alignment and so on. And of course you can add as many hotspots as you want. Let's go back to content. Let me add one more hotspot. I'm going to go back in here, click on add item. And uh, I'm going to call this one, uh, my shoulders. Okay. This is a biology class. So I'm going to go over to, uh, icon library. And again, I'm just going to go with the same eye. Let's choose that one insert. And now I'm going to go over to position and then let's go with the offset right here. And uh, I think we can make the vertical orientation right there. And uh, there it is. So I've got my shoulders and I've got my ears. That's basically how the whole uh, hotspot widget works. Don't forget, you can also add uh, links as well. So on the content right here, you have access to the link. You can add a link if you want to. And uh, again, you have access to your style. You can play with all the options in there as much as you want. The next widget is going to be the video playlist widget. And again, it's going to be under your pro section. It is right here just before the PayPal button widget. You click and drag, drop that in there. And basically this allows you to create our uh, playlists. So right now by default, we have three videos and you have the sample videos right there. So I'm going to click on the first one. And what I'm going to do is I'm going to grab this link right here from my Elemental tutorial on YouTube. 
and we'll use this one as our very first video. So let me go ahead and paste the link right there and I can change the title from sample video to Elementor uh, Tutorial. Okay, you can set the duration for the video. I'm gonna go with two minutes. Now, there is something very interesting in here, which is the contents tabs. You can actually add tabs that will provide more information about your videos in your playlist. So if you activate it, you will have access to two tabs. And that's one minor complaint I have about this widget is that you can add uh, more than two tabs. So for the first tab in here, we'll call this one the description, the description uh, tag. So let's just say this is an Elementor. Oops, that's not how to spell Elementor. Elementor tutorial all right and then for the second tab we'll let this one be the length so we'll say this uh, video is two minutes in length just as an example and then down here where you have tabs you click in there and then you can change the labels of the tab so the first one right here will be description Okay, and then the second one would be uh, length. And that's how the whole thing works. So people will click on the element tutorial. They have two tabs, description. This is an element tutorial length. This video is two minutes in length. Okay, I'm going to go back to the playlist and let's go to the second video. Now, I do have a, a major complaint in here, in fact, and that is the fact that uh, this particular widget does not support Vimeo. It can support YouTube, but it cannot support Vimeo. And uh, I find it very strange because the actual video widget with Elementor does have Vimeo support. But for some reason, the playlist widget does not support Vimeo. But hopefully, in a future update, they will be able to uh, add that. So let me just show you what else you can do. You can switch from YouTube to self-hosted. So you'll be able to upload your own video manually. But then you also have section. Now, what is section? How does this work? It allows you to create sections within your playlist, but how would you actually use it? I'm going to go back to the first Elementor tutorial in here. I'm going to duplicate it, go to the first one again, and now switch from YouTube to section. And I'm going to call this one Elementor Tutorials as the section, okay? Now check this out. I'm going to go back to the third video in here, switch this one to section, and we're going to call this one WooCommerce. WooCommerce uh, Tutorials, okay? And now I'm gonna go to the fourth video in here, go back to uh, YouTube, grab this Elementor tutorial, go back in here, paste that video, and again, duration, I'll call this one two minutes, change the title to WooCommerce uh, Payments, WooCommerce Payments. Okay, and that is it. And then, of course, for the tabs, I can add the tabs in there. So for the first tab in here, I'm going to call this one. This is a WooCommerce video. And then for the tab, I'm going to call this one. This video is two minutes or three minutes in length. And there we go. And uh, that's it. So... How exactly do the sections work? Let me just go ahead now and update this for you to see. So you sit from the front end. And let me go ahead now and view the page and scroll down here. And uh, there you go. So now you can see we have Elementor Tutorials, the actual Elementor Tutorial, and then you have WooCommerce Tutorials, and then you have the actual uh, WooCommerce uh, video. That's how uh, they basically work. And then when you click on the videos, you will now see the tabs down there, description length, and so on. That's basically how the uh, widget works. So again, my two complaints, you can have more than two tabs. And then second, which is a major one, there is no Vimo support, but hopefully in future updates, uh, they will add that. So you can customize, you can add your image overlay, customize the play icon. You have access to additional options like your autoplay on load. Uh, you can include the minutes watched, video count, duration, things like that. And then laser load, I'll recommend you activate laser load for your playlists. So that's it for uh, Elementor 3.3. Not in like extraordinary or major, but at least two new widgets that can we can use to further enhance the experience of our users on our website. So if you enjoyed the video, do you hit the thumbs up. What do you think about these two new widgets? Do you like them? Let me know what your thoughts and uh, if you have any questions, put them down in the comment section below. My name is Alex. It's been a pleasure. Stay safe out there and I'll talk to you next time. Cheers.